Oh, there's another big hit. We've got an injured capital. That is Jensen. He's out cold. Yeah. And now there is a scrap right in front of the Lightning bench as Jensen is in distress. And a couple of guys from Washington jumped out not to get involved in the fight, but to protect Jensen. You see where Ovechkin is, and Oshie is there, and, and uh, Carlson is there. Well, they were just forming a wall because, yeah, he out cold, and they could tell. And when players start jostling and fighting, they're paying attention to who's trying to punch them, and they're not paying attention to who's down on the ice. And it was Asimov who got in on the hit, and Wilson wants a piece of Asimov. He is barking at him as Asimov goes to the to the bench. Big collision there right at center ice, and yeah, they're bringing the stretcher out, so this is, you know, always hate to see this. Nick, Nick Jensen's the player that's down. This is the second Saturday in a row we've seen the stretcher on the ice in a Lightning game. Remember this happened in Pittsburgh a week ago with that Collision with Hayden Fleury and the referee Steve Kozari. This one yeah. a different collision entirely, but concerned right now for the veteran Nick Jensen. That's Spencer Carberry, the head coach. And when a guy's not moving a lot, they're extra careful, of course, checking for it. They got doctors out there right away. You check your check the neck how they feel can you move your arms and legs uh, if you can't obviously that's a, a big time sign that they have to be extra careful how they move them and get them up off the ice I, I know what happens here this happened to me here's what happened left side of your screen he gets in front of him, so th there's nothing wrong with the hit, and it is heavy, there's no doubt. But Asamont, watch, he'll get around in front of him, he'll get in front, he gets his left side in front of the shoulder. But, and because the path that Nick Jensen was taking and his concern is getting the puck over the red line or dumping it in, so he's looking at it, doesn't expect that hit, hit to be that heavy. But when you go in like that on an angle, ugh, he's able to keep his head up. But you can see his head slams and the shoulder, too. And, of course, you know, the Washington players immediately know that their player is in trouble. See, that's where I was talking about. Other players came off the bench. They did not get involved in the fight. They were simply because they could see it was so close to the bench. They wanted to form a wall so that the guys fighting wouldn't fall over and make things worse for Nick Jensen down on the ice. Well, you can see both coaches are right at the scene there, including yeah. John Cooper showing concern. Nobody likes to see this happen no. at all. Pretty much airborne, uh, upper part of his body and the feet are coming out from underneath him and it, the velocity of the hit was heavy. Wasn't com it, he didn't go in head first again, thank goodness for that. Yeah, that could have been even worse, but this is certainly not good. Around the NHL now, the response teams and the medical staff and personnel are so good. And yep. they make these situations as best as they possibly the first, can. The first things they start asking you are, can you move your arms and legs? Can you move your fingers? Can you, what can you feel? Do you, can you do not? Because he hasn't moved a whole lot. And so if you, you know, it starts from there. Sometimes you can get stingers or whatever, and the feeling starts to come back. But those are the first questions that, that they ask you. And so Carberry there with his assistant coach, Kirk Muller, on the Capitals bench. Been a rough start to this game. Remember there was that collision where Henrik Lapierre was tended to, and he got back to the bench. And well, now... A lot of concern for Jensen, who is 33 years old, an eight-year veteran, sixth year here in Washington. Good, solid two-way defenseman for them. Has been for years. Mm -hmm. And stick taps and applause as Jensen 
He's moved away on the stretcher. The situation where the Capitals, you know, in the standings, this is important, but uh, situations like this really, you know, drive the reality home of, you know, this is a a well-respected veteran who's being carted off on a stretcher is very tough, but now Asimov's being escorted across the ice, so the crowd's giving it to him. I suspect they're guarding against anything happening at the end of the period when he comes out. He was definitely escorted across. He's, he's onto the bench.